infinite growth on finite resources is not only a myth, but is extractivist and ruthlessly oppressive by design. So when talking about growth and defending growth, there is a very important first question that we need to ask ourselves. Who are we growing this economy for? And what stories do we use to justify it? We have to acknowledge what lays below our growth. White supremacy, colonialism and imperialism. White supremacy justifies a global system of exploitation and extractivism. Colonialism lays at the foundations of the European economy, institutions, corporate value chains, trade deals, investment agreements and geopolitical structures of wealth accumulation, which means that there is no degrowth without decolonization. We need to take these conversations outside of these rooms and make sure that for all of the hundreds of fossil fuel lobbyists demanding growth, there are thousands of us demanding degrowth. We need to redistribute wealth, cancel climate debt, implement a universal basic income, massively invest in loss and damage funds, degrow the economy in high income countries, increase universal public services, reduce working time, dematerialize and reprioritize what it means to live a human life.